Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing and liking my videos. And, of course, thank you for just being you, okay, and recognizing what I have to offer as far as entertainment in the celebrity world. Now, let's get on to this, okay? If you've already subscribed, subscribe, subscribe to me. Cool beans, all right? Thank you. If you haven't, stop the video, go back, subscribe, like my video, and let's get on into this story, all right? I'm coming to you with a who, what, when, where, why, and lastly, how in the entertainment celebrity world of living. I'm getting my commentary from Atlanta Black Star. Yes, and they put out a fabulous story on Miss Kenya Moore, which definitely, from my opinion only, and it's not biased, it's just I'm giving you the truth of how I see it. Is she a fashion, fashionista at times, but is she breaking all the fashion rules and serving us up? No, ma'am. That title goes to Cynthia Bailey. If you really want to get down and investigate the true tea, look at her fashion. Ever since she's been on the show, nobody has come close to capturing her light that shines brightly in the fashion world. Now, what I can say about Miss Kenya, yes, keep hanging around Cynthia and you might get up to par when they're saying woman knows her fashion. OK, I have to give that to uh, hands down, Cynthia Bailey. I'm sorry. I don't agree with what they put out there as Kenya stay snatched and she stay, you know, uh, looking good. No, not not really. OK. Now, I've given you her fabulous fashions that I have liked in the first part of my video. Then you're going to see a lot of them where she is just thought crazy. Okay, and when I say thought crazy, I'm like she's harnessing her attention to her breasts. Everything is about her breasts. Okay, everything. That's the first thing you see besides her gorgeous face. Okay, now we're talking about facial features, body features, um intelligent wise business savvy business smart we talking about kenya Moore, hands down okay i get it and i give her all those props but she likes the entertainment world she loves focusing on her breasts okay i'm sorry y'all can see where i'm going with this she's just like a, a, a modern size pop thought out there right now okay because she's just showing her assets and she's a very smart businesswoman when it comes to her assets, okay? Just like Kim Zoviet, she keeps her tatas perched and ready to go as well because men like titties, okay? They do. They really, really do, and big asses. But, you know, Kim ain't into all that, but she loves flaunting her tatas. Now, if you want to give her the best show, okay, she's the best show of showing her tatas. But we aren't going to take away from her beauty, her poise, her grace, because she does possess all of that. But fashion, no. They got it wrong. We'll get her a C. But Cynthia, hands down, with Marlo running a close second, is a fashionista. Now, let's go on into the article that, yes, Black Star put out. They came to my doorstep. So I think you want to put this out since you like talking about Kenya. And I give her her accolades, but when I call and see that she's acting like a spade, I'm going to have to address it, especially when she put it in social media. And anything else she ain't dropping out there for us to take part of and dissect it and put it back out there, then I ain't got no call to even bring up her name. But when she's doing foul stuff out there, yes, yes, I will call a spade a spade, okay? <sighs> but it goes on. Kirsten Willis. You know what I'm talking about. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Kirsten Willis dropped this story. Yes, from Atlanta Black Star. That's my girl over there hitting a home run as usual. But she broke the little uh, information down on, on this uh, Kenya Moore fashion, latest fashion spiel she's given us. And I gave y'all the first clip when you signed on. And after, you know, getting my introduction of you know uh subscribing to me and this that and the third i gave y'all the fashion what they were talking about in that big uh blue uh background print and she had the little black cat suit look like thing going on and then she just put the shoes and the purse with it and i'm sure somebody dressed her for the photo shoot 
because she didn't put that together herself. Even though I would have put some hell, I would have had a jacket on. A hoop, a we kind of hounds two black and white jacket with an ounce two uh, hat to match. But you know, that's just me, okay? That's just me. But we're going to get into the article that she wrote, Kirsten Willis at Atlanta Black Star. She says, Brooklyn mama ain't effing around. Kenya Moore fans are absolutely falling for Real Housewives of Atlanta Star's newest look. Okay? I'm like, she's going to have to come a little better. And the, on the latter part of my videos, she's absolutely a doll. Love it. She's classy, not trashy. She's serving it all. I mean, it's like she took classes from Cynthia Bailey with all these nice poses. Now, Kenya got some damn good hair. Yes, she do. She put that hair, that hair be laid to the side all the time. I give her all that. And like I said, I am not biased. I like her when she's doing well. I love when she's portraying herself well. But when she get out here and act ratchet and start acting like she don't know no better, that's when I have to call. She looks so motherly in my ladder shots, especially this one right here. So motherly, so inviting. You know, like you can just go up to her and say, you know, have a little conversation with her and she'll be cool with that. I love that, Kenya. I even like this one, like giving you a little hot to try, but don't touch me unless I tell you to. Yes, I think this was Isaac Hayes. This was in her younger years, but you see how nice and royal she was looking at the time and pretty and petite. That's what I'm talking about. I can get with Kenya all day, every day on this. Okay, my daughter's calling me. Hold on for one second. Hello? Yeah, I still don't know what I want. Let me call you back on tape right now. Give me about 10 minutes. I'm already in the other side of the huh? Okay, well, go somewhere in park then. I can do wings. It doesn't matter to me. So you want no my wings? Yes, Chauncey. Gotta go. Bye. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Y'all know how I get down with my daughter. She always calling me when it's time for me to do something. She interrupted me. But anyway, go on. We're going on back to the store. It says, in one of her latest Instagram posts, Kenya Moore stylish has caught the attention of her eager fan base. The Real Housewives of Atlanta star made it clear she plans on stunning on her co-stars in the fashion department once she makes her return to the series after taking a season off. Okay, now I can get with those two outfits I showed you when the uh, video was rolling. We cool. If you're going to dress like that, but it's getting kind of cool, but they take, okay. I, th I think they should start showing us Real Housewives of Atlanta in November. So maybe they're uh, kind of gearing up to uh, taping the last few episodes or whatnot where they can give us some fall slash winter fashion taste skills going down. I don't know. But I think they, ne they need to lean on to Cynthia Bailey's understanding in this fashion world because she got it on lock. That's why I understand why she never really went into the fashion for selling clothes or payrolls, not this uh, eyewear and, and, and uh, luggage wear, but I'm talking about clothing, you know, from shoes to the belts to the hats, because she loved wearing a, a cowboy hat, and it looked good. It looks vintage on her. Uh, she don't had it for a minute, but it works for her. You see what I'm saying? They should have leaned the understanding on Cynthia Bailey, but okay, we ain't going to take Kenya Shine, so this is her video, okay? Going back to the article, it says, uh, serving and swerving. She captioned a photo uploaded Friday, August 30th to her Instagram page. Moore had her hair pulled back and a tight ponytail and wore what appeared to be a black jumpsuit with one sleeve that she paired with checkered peak toe heels and a white handbag and bangles. Okay, I'm like, all right, all right. I get it. I got it. Cool. Moving on. Followers who glimpsed the post piled on the praise for the 48-year-old mother of one not to be played with, one commentator had uh, put out on her Instagram account. And I'm right. You know, she definitely has kept her body well. Who I even wish for that body at this point right now. But I'm working on it. If you go to our, well, I'll let my daughter post that or I'll post it in another video. Because I don't want to take and tear her too long on this story. Because I can't get uh, snatched away. I can start talking and it's going to be too long. And y'all know I can't do no longer than 20 minutes. Okay. We don't want the queen coming after me. All right. But anyway, getting back to the article, it said another commentator wrote, keep your foot on their neck. Next. Okay. The category is closed. Flawless diva queen 10, 10, 10. Then another commentator wrote, baby, you have been slaying me this whole year. Your fashions have always been on point, but Brooklyn's mama ain't effing around. Okay. Giving her heart emojis with the uh, face. Team twirl, gone with the wind, fabulous. 
uh, like it just stepped off the stage. Like I just stepped off the stage. Twirl says, Twirl, happy for you. Stay humble. Okay. And another commentary, um, commenter said, yes, uh, show those edgeless uh, hexes who run the world. Okay. More famously took a step back from Real Housewives of Atlanta during season 11, telling the Daily Dish last October that she wanted to focus on her high-risk pregnancy without dealing with the show's negativity. I have decided to take the season off to focus on my high-risk pregnancy in a healthy and drama-free environment. She said at the time, I thank Bravo for this amazing platform that has allowed me to grow, flourish, and appreciate the value of what is truly important in life. However, the star is now set to come back on the show and unlike before when she only gave viewers a small glimpse at her spouse toward the end of the season she's uh set to come back eager to share her husband my data and daughter brooklyn daily with the world according to a real housewives of Atlanta fan instagram instagram account uh and just a retraction you we know can you you got fired okay <laughs> you got laid off uh you got like put in the corner because you had did something unacceptable to the brand, okay? Let's be serious, all right? Let's be totally serious. Now you want us to believe that Mark is going to come on camera, film with you like Peter did with Cynthia. No, I don't think that. He just don't seem like that kind of person. And since a lot of stuff is coming out on him now for the negative, I don't think he wants to be up in the camera mix like you say he wants to. Now, of course, we love seeing Brooklyn, but again, I don't think a baby Needs to be on film all the time like that. That's just my opinion on the matter. And I told you, you need to get her into some commercials, baby commercials. She definitely can build her portfolio because I can see her as a model too, later on down the road or whatnot. But you no, know, that's the type of filming and photographing you need to have if you're going to put her in front of social media. Go get some Gerber ass, baby product ass that you can put her in. Come on, girl. I know you're smarter than the average mama cub. Okay? Get with it, can you? Uh, stop showing your ignorance. All right. But going back to the article, it said, um, mm -mm -mm. let me see you. Okay. And while Moore's comeback is welcome for fans. A new report claims she hasn't made a seamless transition into balancing work and for caring for her 10-month-old daughter. According to Radar Online Insider, the TV star had a meltdown. It supposedly stemmed from more raising Brooklyn on her once uh, on her own since daily. A New York City-based restaurateur is usually out of town. Okay, she said on a camera, she said on camera how much uh, she was having to deal with and the pressure was really intense. The informant claimed to Radar, I guess it's a snitch who's telling this, or maybe Kenya Hell is the snitch. She's just going to call herself the informant. All right. Woo, Kenya, stop this drama field. You know, I'm not really going to go into this because I covered this on the last, uh, my last video on her. I'm not going to let her play me, and I hopefully y'all that follow her won't let y'all won't let her play y'all because like i said there's too many women out here in all different races and cultures doing it without the father in the uh in the mix or the husband in the mix they have no choice but to do it okay and they're gonna survive haven't you heard the song by shaka khan i'm every woman it's all in the lead. Anything you want to go, baby, I do it naturally. Yes, Kenya need to get up Shaka Khan in the late Whitney Houston. Okay, in her own voice and sing that song. That need to be her uh, but song to get her bubbled up. Get her back on point. Get her being like the queen she says she is. Okay? Because I don't be want to hear that, that stuff. She's talking about, oh, I need my man. Oh, I need to be held. Now, girl, you were sent. I mean, you were Kenya Moore before you even knew of this man that you called your husband, which I, I, I already told you I don't believe it. I don't care. That's just my opinion. Y'all come at me. You know, like y'all been coming at me, it still ain't going to change my mind because now she's trying to you know, uh, lend us to understand what she's going through. She's been going through it. But at one flip of the coin, you said everything was perfect. You living the perfect marital life, bliss, and everything forming 
a complete family when Bricklin showed up on the scene. Now you're trying to give us this holes in your story type pattern, and I don't want to hear it. I'm like, I'm just going to go with the fairy tale you got people believing and just watch it crumble down, okay? And Because I really, you, you could have just came with, you know, I'm still on this fantasy, I want to be married, da 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 Of course, we would have got tired of it, but we wouldn't be looking at you sideways. But when you had a wedding that you eloped to with your best gay friend or whatever, or it could have been your best girlfriend also also in the mix, but you didn't show us that. You didn't uh, um, have your mother or your father or your aunt there. I mean, come on. You know, what are we are left to believe? Most of us are believing, including myself, it's a sham. So I'm like, come on, girl. You're too intelligent. You're too um, self-made. You're beautiful. you got uh, contacts in Hollywood. You're no stranger to the life of Hollywood and how it gets down. You have everything. So don't come with this pity party that you want us to spin out for you and get on your team, like, you know, hold your hand, give you embraces and all that. No, get off your sofa, get off your pity party and get back to work. Get back to a twirl, 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 run the world. World, world, Miss Kenyama is twirl. You know, get back to that person. Cause I like Nene. I don't like seeing her in no pity party either. Now, if you the HBIC, then cat that torch well to the day you die. Okay, that's what we want to see. We don't want to see all this uh, you know, falling apart. Uh I can't take it. But then stop dishing it. You know what I'm saying? Stop dishing it. You have a lot more friends that way, and nobody have to get worried about whether you're gonna serve them up a, on a platter of shade, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I got for this video. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. And I'll see you back next time for another one. But right now, I got to bounce. Bye-bye.